Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make grasses and flowers. This tree is for Unreal Engine to, in, for Unreal Engine 4. This tutorial is very easy. It's very fast. You can easily learn it and use it. It's very helpful. So when you open up tree it, this is the first thing that you see. So what you have what you're gonna do is first off is to check off this box for trunk but uh, not right away I I'll explain why and uh, one of the things that I always do is to reduce the leaf poly um, you can you can uh, do this like it's better to do this you can also leave it at 100 but I always reduce it like to like between 40 to 50 Somewhere like here. Then we go to uh, trunk section for the length min. We have to go all the way down, all the way down to the zero. And uh, for the radius, it's better to uh, increase the radius if you want like uh, your flower be a bit uh, separate from each other and not be very close together you can always type your amount that you want it's a 350 it depends on your total depends on you how you want to do it you can also work with the radius curve it and join offset it can help you you can uh, check it later so let's go and uh, check off this trunk section and let's go to the leaves before we uh, insert any textures, let let us uh, add some leaf polys. Now we insert our textures, and uh, one of the best places to download your textures is textures.com. I'll put a link to that. All you need is a free account. You can make it without any like uh, those free trial things. The only downfall for free account is uh, like. Uh, you can only download textures with lower quality. You can buy a subscription to download textures with up to like with 4K quality. Those low quality works for me. So let let's go to the to my textures. Let me see, let me see. Yep. Flower, flower though. Here we are. Base color. All you need base color, normal and specular. That we are going to join them right here. Right now I'm using flower. You can use grass. You can use anything that you want. Let's insert the uh, yeah normal. Normal. Yep. And specular. I guess you can uh, skip the specular map, but I rather to use it. Here we are. Maybe it looks a bit weird right now, but uh, don't worry. We can fix it inside Unreal Engine. So. First of all, you need to know how much you want. Like, you can go crazy with it with like huge amounts or small amounts. I usually go with the small amounts because uh, I can control the amount inside the Unreal Engine with the foliage system, which is very helpful. Next thing you ha you ha you want to do is uh, choose the cross section. I always go with say uh, with the half or cross. Okay, now it's a bit, uh, you can see, like a uh, very in weird angle, okay. We have to fix it. Oh, uh, before we go there, we can you can use the size, you can uh, decide how big you want your flower and your grasses be. I guess that works for me, yeah. Let's go for the, fix the angle, yeah, here in the bend section like bend X and bend Z you can decide 
the you can fix the angle right now you can see it's two they're very close to each other but don't worry we can fix it next uh, next we have uh, we can go over here as you can see it can uh, change the location for your grasses and flowers by deciding where you want it be as you can see our grass is a bit uh, too much uh, thick we have to make him a bit skinny you can use it with its min and max you can control it from here real easy so next um yeah this, these are the basic uh, basic settings you can g work with the other settings like this like you want your flower bit to be a bit uh, not totally straight maybe bend it a bit to the left or right you can do it from here bend Z minimum and maximum the position maybe you want them be a bit further maybe you want them to be close to each other depends on you you can decide how it's going to be you also can work with here well, well uh, normally you should be okay with the default one but yeah one of these settings also helps you with yeah how far they going to be like you want them be f like too much far like as far as they can what happened yeah okay I don't know what I just clicked on but <laughs> I'm so sorry okay like this 100 is okay for me so now let's say you want to export into Unreal Engine all you have to do always always save your settings like maybe you want to change them later let's save it like let's say test folder oh I already have it new folder doesn't matter test 2 yep and I always export them as the FBX but let's say you want to change it a bit like the UV map you want to change it inside blender in that case you have to go with OBJ or go with FBX and no, 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 you, uh, you can't go with FBX for blender because uh, you'll get an error I don't know why but you get if you want to change it a bit inside the blender you have to go with OBJ but if you want to straight export into Unreal Engine you have to go with FBX let's export it yeah here test 2 yeah that's it save it we're done from for, uh, for here let's go inside the Unreal Engine oh textures from last tutorial let's find that our textures from where are they flower to flower uh, yeah right here I'm sorry let's export our textures inside the Unreal Engine and export our I mean import our mesh from the new folder folder I'm sorry let me Let me export it one time. New folder. Test two. Save. Cancel it. Import it again. Oh. 
yeah here I don't know why I didn't import it last time but yeah so now we have to set up the material uh, le uh, first of all left click on the texture the, ma the main color then right click on it click on create material go inside the material and export the maps the um, well we don't need height just normal and specular we bring them inside the unreal engine we connect them into our material thing I don't know what it's called we connect our things our maps so now click on this big thing I don't know what to call it to be honest so now we have to change some of these first of all you have to click on two-sided right here then go to shading mode and click on two-sided foliage then go to blend mode and click on masked so now click right here this white section in the lower part of your base color connected to opacity mask then you have to do um, I'm going to show you a trick that can help you a lot you can change the color of your material blend them it's very good click on M and press the left button it will bring up the multiply you can also search for it right click here multiply here you can see it same thing then click on number three and left click it will bring you the color channel connect the color channel to the B section our main texture to A and connect it to the base color maybe you you want just use the main color you don't need to you don't want to change the color so in that case leave it and then you really have to do this it's uh, necessary you have to uh, right now you can see it's totally black but no problem it's because it's blended with black color uh, next thing th that you want to do is to again do the same thing multiply and color yeah, but this time add this one to the A section and add it to the s oh sorry sorry yeah, yeah the first one to here and uh, connect it to the subsurface color if you don't connect it here you'll get some weird black shades that you really don't want them so now you want to do uh, what you want to do is to right click on this one and convert it to parameter name it let's say color same thing for this one let's name it sub surface now click on apply get out of here right click on the material and create material and sense so now here you can choose your color let's say green yellow orange doesn't matter it can give you a bit of shade of orange while also having the same the original color let's say you want to give it the shade of red and here you have subsurface it should be on like that's it like here you can see it also helps with, help you with these shades click on save get out of here go to the test and add this material instance to your asset now you can see that we have our grass maybe it looks a bit weird because the texture that I used but with the right texture you can make some great foliage some great flowers and grasses uh, oh by the way sorry um, one thing that I forgot is this go back to the material click uh, on the right button and search for wind wind or 
whatever you name it simple gas find click on this and now click on S and left click for three times like this oh this name is so I'll tell you what these things do name one of them speed yep connected to the last one name one of them weight weight okay and the last one intensity doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want okay so now connect the result to the wall position offset click on apply wait till it apply it get out of here go to the material instance and now check this parameters on select the amount you want let's say like all of them about 0.2 you can you can choose the amount any amount that you want any amount that you're happy with let's bring them here as you can see it's animated it doesn't look bad to be honest it could be worse than this so now we're gonna add this to our models you can select the amount that you want to paint the size like let's say from here to here 0.8 to, to 1.6 maybe you want to work with the call distance the call distance that what thing it do is that uh, it helps you like a uh, let's say you wanna paint the entire entire map with grass and uh, to, it help, helps you with the performance like uh, uh, you can't see it will sh uh, it will let me think about it. It will fade away the further grasses that you can see them, and it helps helps you with the performance. Right now, I'm not going to do anything with that. Let's paint it right here. Oh, sorry. I have to check this off. What happened? Oh my god, <laughs> sorry. So, check this off. Yep, everything's cool. Now, let's apply them here. As you can see, some of them are very small. I guess we did a yeah, maybe you want to increase the size from a scale X you get something like that Th to be honest this is a very bad texture that I use and I guess I did something wrong here with this offset Z and things like this no no the problem is with the texture yeah it's a bad texture that I use I'm so sorry I should have now it looks a bit weird but that's cool not it's not that bad and paint it as you can see um it like uh it has the uh, wind animation but it's not that much it's very slow you can you can make it faster just by simply going to the material instance and working with your parameters as you can see now they move faster just work with it to get the result that you want and uh, one thing that you can do to help with your performance is the level of detail that you can uh, I really want to show you how it works but uh, it may take your time and uh, it may take like uh, increase the video length so instead I'm going to add some links to from other videos to show you how you can do this it uh, you really you really have to do this it really helps you with the performance 
and last thing this one is very important that you have to keep in mind go to the lit to the optimize view modes and shader complexity so here that you can see it's a uh, first of all look at this part here good good ones are green bad or red extremely bad is white so as you can see it's very bad it's a uh, it's all red it's all white it's gonna cost you the performance so you should be careful to not use them too much like a, a, a an advice that from me that you can hear is a uh, use them but use this method just in case that you want to make some fast grasses fast foliage you can you can also do uh, do better one with the blender that you can see i did here it looks very cool very nice most of the part is the green as you can see here it's super green i'll show you in the next tutorial how to get how to make grasses and foliages with great performance great shaders that you can see it this shader is not that much good it's not a good way to make your foliage but uh, use it like if you want to use them in low amount like let's say like you're making a scene and you need a bit amount of grasses a bit amount of flowers like I don't know not too much then it's okay you can use this it's fast it's easy can save you a lot of time you can or you can go with this one that you can see is all green it's great with the performance great shaders but it's going to take a bit more time to make this this one like you can use it like if you want to make a just a scene to take a picture not even a game not even a trailer or movie or anything just to make a picture so i hope it it helped you hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm sorry to for picking a bad picture bad texture it's really weird really small and but you can do something better so this one i made with blender that you can see it's very cool. Wait, yeah, it's blended with the, my new grasses. As you can see. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make these grasses. These great grasses that uh, very performance per performance friendly. That gonna cost you low amount of shaders. These are great. So till next time. Till next tutorial, goodbye.